Now we will learn how to integrate Facebook with your website in order to sell your products on Facebook. To do this process, first of all we need to go to developer.facebook.com where we are going to create the application. Next, we have to go to another URL, facebook.com slash products. There you can create categories. Also, we need to go to our Facebook business account which you can find at URL called business.facebook.com. Here we need to copy the business ID which is shown here. Let's begin by creating a Facebook application. I would like to repeat one more time that in order to create a Facebook application, you need to go to a URL called developer.facebook.com. Once you are in this page, click on My Apps. If you are already logged into your usual Facebook account, you don't need to log in again. Simply click on My Apps. The view in this page will be like this, but in my case, you can see that here I already have one application. For the purpose of this demonstration, I will create a completely new application so that you can see all of the process. Here you can see a button called Add a new app. Click on it. Here we need to choose from these categories. Let's choose the first one called Manage Business Integrations. Now we need to set the application name. I am setting it as Dev Test. Next, here you can see the app contact email. You can use your own email or Facebook will automatically grab your Facebook email, which you can allow it to do. Next, here is a title called Who can use your app? And there are two options. We are choosing the first one called Just Me. Next, another title says, Do you have a business manager account? Here you can see the drop down and there we can choose the business manager account that we are using. Now I am choosing one of those. If you have multiple business accounts, they will show up here and you can just choose the right one. In my case, I am choosing this one. And now just click on the Create App ID. Next, click here on I'm not a robot and click on Submit. Once you are here in this page, you can see the Facebook login area. Simply click on Setup. Once you click on Setup, you need to click on Web. Next, you have to insert your website URL. This is my website. Again, bear in mind that this is just an example. I am copying this web address and I am going back to that Facebook page and I am pasting my web address there. Let's click on Save and then on Continue. Here, the rest of the steps you can simply ignore. You don't have to do anything here. Now, in the left hand side, you can see an option called Facebook Login. Underneath it, you can see here the option Settings. If you click on Settings, here you will see the title Valid OAuth Redirect URLs. These Valid OAuth Redirect URLs are already in your website. So now, let's go back to your website and log into your admin panel. Once you are inside your admin panel, go to e-commerce management and then next to Facebook Marketplace. Here you can see your OAuth redirect URL. Click on copy this link. The link will be copied. Go back to the Facebook developer account and paste the same URL. Once you've done that, simply click on save changes. From here, now we need to go back to the settings in the left hand side. Click on the setting tab. Here you can see that there is an option called Basic. If you click on the Basic tab, in this page you can see the App ID. Also, we can see the Secret ID. This Secret ID will not be visible unless we click on the Show button. We will come back to this portion later. First, let's set here the namespace. Namespace can be anything. For the purposes of this test, I am just writing here something, but when you are setting the namespace, please bear in mind that you cannot write a number, you cannot use a space between two words, and you also cannot use any capital letters. Here you can see a title, App Domains. I am putting here my web address or my web URL. In your case, it will be your web address or your URL. So I am going back here, I am copying the URL, and I am going back to the developer account and I am pasting it here. 
Also here you can see the privacy policy URL. Here will be your website's privacy policy URL. In my case I am going back to my website's admin area, then I am going to page design. Next, all pages. Here I can see the privacy policy page. Then I simply click on edit. Then if I click on preview, it shows here. Let's copy this URL and let's go back to Facebook developer account and then just simply paste your privacy policy URL here. Next, there is a title called terms of service URL. The terms of service URL we will get in a similar way from our website. Previously, I showed you how to get a privacy policy URL from the admin area. But actually, if you have the terms of service ready already, you can get the URL from your footer area or from any menu which has it. I am simply going here and I am clicking on the terms and conditions. I get the same URL here, I am copying it and I am going back to the Facebook developer account and I am pasting it here. Next you can see a title called category here. I need to choose the category which will correspond to this application. I click on this option and choose category business and pages. Here in the left hand side you can see a title called app icon. This app icon has to be in 1024 by 1024 pixels in size. Also, it is important that the background of this icon is transparent and that it is PNG format. If it is not in PNG format and transparent, then Facebook will not accept it. Let's click on this image. Here it says choose file. Click on it. I already have this icon in my computer. So I choose this one, which is 1024 by 1024 pixels in size. I choose it and I click on open. Once I set it, we are almost done. Here are two options and we need to choose the one saying support my own business. After we click on this option, we need to also click on this button save changes. We are done now with this portion as we did get the app ID and the secret ID. We have fulfilled all of the necessary information. Let's now go to the next step. Next step is the catalogue. To create a catalogue, as I said earlier, we need to go to facebook.com slash products and it will bring us to this area. Once we are here, we need to click on create catalogue and now we need to choose a category. As this is e-commerce, we will choose the first option called e-commerce and simply click on next. Once we click on next, here we can see the catalogue owner, which is your Facebook page and here you can see the catalogue name. You can decide what your catalogue name will be according to what kind of products you're selling. In my case, I will call it All Products. Also, here is a title asking for the website URL, but it is actually optional. You can choose to use it or you can ignore it. Now let's click on the button called Create, then simply click on View Catalogue. Once you click on this button, you will see this view. But first, at this moment, we need to go back to our website's admin area. Here in this admin area, we need to set up our developer account related information, such as app ID, secret ID, as well as the business ID. To do that, we need to go to e-commerce management and then to Facebook marketplace. Here you can see these three fields. First is application ID. This application ID or app ID we get from the Facebook developer account, which is here. You can see here the app ID. We simply copy this and go back to our website's admin panel and paste the application ID here. Next, we need to set up the application secret ID. To get the application secret ID, we need to go to Facebook developer account again. And here we can see the app secret. If I click on the show button, then Facebook will ask you for your password. Once we enter the password, it will be opened. So just enter it and click on submit. Then you can see that the app secret ID appears here. Again, simply select it and copy the secret ID. Go back to your website's admin area and then set the secret ID in this field here. Next, here you can see the business ID field. As I said earlier, to get to the business ID, you need to go to a URL called business.facebook.com. Once you hit enter, then you can see your business account ID appear here. Simply copy this ID and then go back to your admin panel. Simply paste it here in the business ID field. 
Also make sure that there are no unnecessary gaps anywhere. And then click on update. Once you've updated this information here, we need to go and list the product. I am going to e-commerce management and then to the products area. Once we click on products, the next view will look like this. We need to click on continue as your Facebook name, then just simply click on OK. Once you do that, Facebook will redirect you to your product area. Now here you can see some products. If you want to push any of these products in Facebook, then you can do it by this button here on the right hand side called sell on Facebook marketplace. If I click sell on Facebook marketplace, in the next view we will see all of the catalogues. One of these is called test new, one is sunglasses, and another is called all products, which we created just some time ago. I am choosing this last catalogue, and then I click on add to marketplace. When I click on it, now I can see confirmation that the product has been added to Facebook Marketplace, which means that it's done. Let's go back to the catalogue area and let's simply refresh the page. Here we can see that in this catalogue we've added one product. After we've added one product successfully, now we need to create a page and we need to assign this product and catalogue to that page. So let's go and create that page. We need to create it from this URL which is called business.facebook.com. Here you can see one button called Seal Business Settings. Click on the Add button. Then here it says Create a New Page. So I click on this button Create a New Page. Of course, I will also choose the category of the page and I'm choosing here Local Business or Place. And then you can just type the page name. And I am choosing Developer Test 2020 UK. Next I am choosing this category. We need to choose a category from this drop down menu which is related to your product. In this case, we will choose beauty, cosmetics, and personal care. But you can choose fashion accessories or find any of these categories which is most relevant to your product. In my case, I am choosing beauty, cosmetics, and personal care. Then here it says street address, and I am choosing the appropriate address and city, and then I simply click on create page. Once we have created the page, now we need to go back to our catalogue area, which is here. If we go to the sales option, you will see another two options there. Instagram shopping and page shops. Let's click on page shops. Here it says connect to Facebook business page. So if we go here and click on connect page, it will give us some checkout options. Let's choose here the option on your website. Click on the first option and now click on get started. Next, here when we are in this area, we need to choose on which page the shop will appear. As an example, here is the page that we created some time ago called DevTest 2020 UK. I choose this one and I simply click on Next. In the next view, you need to choose the account name. This name you can choose however you want to and then simply click on Next and it has been created. Click on Next again and here it shows us this catalogue, the one we want to show now. Here we will choose the catalogue or products that we created earlier. Choose it here and click Next. Here you will see that it says Review Shop Details. Again, Facebook gives you this information to check if it is all correct or if you want to make any changes. If you don't have any changes to do, then simply click on this button. It means that you agree to submit this shop for approval according to the merchant terms and conditions. Once you click this checkbox, simply click on Create Your Shop. Next, you will see it says welcome to your shop. Simply click on get started. After you submit that, now you can see here an area called sales channels. Simply click on your page name which you created just a moment ago. Then it will redirect you to that Facebook page and here on the left hand side, you will see that the shop button is now visible here. Here you can see the catalog called all products. And here we can see that one product is already there. You have already integrated this, so if you want to add multiple products, simply go back to your admin panel. When you are here, you can see that this particular product we already added, and that's why in the right hand side, you can see that this button now is red, although it used to be blue. It means that you've already added this product one time in Facebook. If this button is red, it doesn't mean that you cannot add this product in another catalogue or another page. You can do that but we created our system this way so that you can easily see the difference between these two types of products, those that you have already submitted in Facebook and those that you still haven't. And that is why this button is red. Now, let's say that I want to submit any other product. 
I can again click on the Sell on Facebook Marketplace and again just choose the catalogue. I will choose the catalogue All Products again and then I am clicking on Add to Marketplace. Now you can see that we've added another product in a similar way. But we do also have a bulk product adding option. Let's say that you want to add multiple products at the same time. Then simply click on this small checkbox on the right hand side. I can similarly add more products like this. But remember that you cannot add more than four products at a time. So now I am clicking on more products and I have added a third and fourth product now. Once I have chosen these four products, let me scroll up. Here you can see the actions button. When I click on the actions button, I can see the drop down menu and here is add to Facebook marketplace option. Click on it and now again simply choose the relevant catalogue that you've just created and for me this is all products. Then click on add to marketplace and you can see that this product has been added successfully. So now let's go to Facebook and check if it all works properly. Here we are again in Facebook. Let's simply refresh or reload the page. You can see that this product has already been added, but still we can see this white area here and there are no products here yet. This is because usually when we add a product to Facebook, it may take a little bit of time, one, two, or maybe even five minutes. After this time, if you refresh, your product will appear here. So this is a common thing and you don't have to worry if you've added the products, but you cannot see it here straight away. It's not a problem. It's just the usual process. Here you can see that you can also connect this same page with your Instagram account as well. But this topic will be covered in our next video.